Scandinavia and Bob here, hi. As you guys know, having a YouTube channel about NoFap means I also get a lot of emails. And one question I often get is whether I think NoFap can help with performance anxiety in the bedroom. And the answer here is really easy. Oh yes, it can. It not only can, but for most guys it makes a big difference. And it's all very logical. Check this out. Okay, so when you consume a lot of adult content, your dopamine system can really start to suffer, as you know. And one common consequence of a dysfunctional dopamine system is increased anxiety. Now, that doesn't happen to everyone, but it is still pretty common. And increased anxiety problems in general, well, of course, that's going to translate to more anxiety in the bedroom as well. Why would that area be any different? So we can instantly tick this box right here. And then when guys start doing NoFap, the dopamine system starts working better again. And so they start getting less anxiety problems. And that in turn can also reduce performance anxiety a bit in the bedroom. As if that wasn't enough, most of you already know that overconsumption of adult sites can cause weak and sluggish boners. For some guys, even to the point of failing to get it up altogether. And do you think having a problem like that would help or hurt your performance anxiety in the bedroom? <laughs> well, I think we can all agree that it not only can, but almost certainly causes increased performance anxiety. We can put another check right here. And if you have watched my series where I talk about PMO addiction and the four major brain changes, you know that one of the brain changes that happens if you become addicted to PMO is a malfunctional stress system. That means you get more stressed out by everything. And just like with the dopamine system and the anxiety, here too it's pretty obvious that a malfunctional stress system that makes you freak out more easily is going to increase your performance anxiety. And of course, when you then start doing NoFap and stop using adult sites, the malfunctioning stress system will reverse. Now all that can explain a lot, but as if this wasn't enough, here comes the real killer. What do you think watching adult sites does to your subconscious mind? Think about it. You're sitting there almost on a daily basis and you are watching people with perfect bodies who are chosen because they are very fit and muscular and with a big, <laughs> how shall we put it, certain attributes that 99.9% .9 of men cannot compete with. <laughs> Simply put, they look like Greek gods with big tools between their legs and not only only that, they often use chemicals to help them perform even better. And on top of all of that, they use a lot of cutscenes when making the video. So it makes it look even better and like they are machines. Now, let me ask you this. Don't you think that will affect you? You will start comparing yourself to all those Greek gods and boy, do you come up short. Even if you're not aware of it on a subconscious level, you will compare yourself to them. For example, they have done studies showing how using social media can trigger depression simply because we automatically start comparing our lives to all the highlight reels people post. It can't be avoided, we just work like that. And since you do the same with professional adult stars, how could those images you have spinning around in in your subconscious mind not affect the way you view your own performance. Now, if you want some more info about NoFap and performance anxiety, you can find a link to a blog post I made a while ago, where I also give you some helpful tips on how to deal with it. So if this is something you are struggling with, you might want to check that out. And the video series I talked about with the four brain changes can be found right here, just click on that and you'll discover what happens inside your brain if you develop a real addiction to PMO. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today and as always I wish you all the best in your journey to become the strongest version of yourself.